and we were preparing for another long year on the tour. Surf was as good as it gets. We got word that there were only going to be two repatriation flights back to South Africa, and if you weren't on those flights, you weren't going to be able to get back. We went from Hawaii, Hawaii to LA, LA to Washington. When we landed in Washington, there were like 200, 300 South Africans, um, all pretty much just in the airport. Nobody had been guaranteed flights. What? Thank you. We only got approved to get on the flight 30 minutes before boarding, and we'd been standing on the line for about 12 hours. Oh, Sarah, you're such a legend. Thank you so much. Once we landed in Johannesburg, there was just nowhere for us to go. We had 300 passengers on the plane that one by one, they pulled us off the plane and put us onto the tarmac. Stood there for like six or seven hours until they figured out a place for us to be able to go. Just woken up. Oh, shut up. First morning. <laughs> Life is not too stoked, but actually the view's pretty good. Check it out. Not a bad view. At least we can see the outside world for two weeks. So. So this is gonna be us for 14 hours. <laughs> oh, mate, the best thing yet. I've got a backseat driver. Oh, look at that. 13 hours later, we have made it. We have made it. You know, I haven't been home for a winter in like 14 years. And even before that, I didn't even have a driver's license. So I'd only ever heard how good it can get. So this was the first time that I could really experience that and actually see it for myself and be there part of it. I feel like I wasn't missing out. Sure enough, the first morning we showed up, it was just cooking.
the South African winter, I swear you don't want to be anywhere else in the world than right there. When there's southwest swell and offshore winds, J-Bay is just a 